Arnie friends, I have a fun and silly crochet pattern for us today. This is my Chicken Little ornament pattern, and I decided to change the name and call it the Funky Chicken. <laughs> I just love it. They're so much fun, and it's a great um, yarn stash buster because you can use whatever colors you want for the chicken. It doesn't have to be Christmas colors and you can hang them up anywhere. It doesn't have to just be at Christmas. But they are made into Christmas ornaments on these two. I'm going to be doing another one in some different brighter colors for our demonstration, but I wanted you to see how they look. Aren't they cute? They're about six inches across and only about three inches through the body, but of course you can make your legs long or short. We've got beads for eyes, we've got a beaded hanger, and this chicken is super funky. <laughs> I just love it, and I think it's lots of fun. Now, you can find the free crochet pattern on my blog, and as always, I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. So, to make the funky chicken, formerly known as Chicken Little, <laughs> ornaments you're going to need of course some yarn now these are done with some sparkle yarn I don't know if you can see that sparkle in there but I decided because the sparkles always play with my camera and make things look odd and so what I decided to do is to use some bright colors this is that lime green and this is that bright pink for I'm gonna stripe it and then we've got yellow for the beak and the legs and I'm even going to make the comb out of the bright pink it's gonna be super cute and you just need a small amount I don't even think a half ounce of, of your colors a complete chicken probably maybe is a half ounce of yarn so you can get in your yarn stash like I said any medium weight number four yarn will work now if you want to use a yarn that doesn't have a sparkle in it and you want some sparkle you can just grab some number 10 thread like these this is a gold one and this is a silver one and just hold it along with your yarn and you'll get that sparkle I'm not going to use the sparkle today but it's a really great option especially if you want a color like this lime green or lime pink that doesn't have any uh, sparkle in it you can add some sparkle to it all right now we're going to need some beads you're going to need two regular size black pony beads because we put one on each side of the chicken for the eyes and then we're well, going to need some other type beads now I used regular size red and green ones here this one I used some smaller pony beads and a red star so you can do whatever you want for your beads since I'm using pink and green I decided to use pink and green beads for my hanger it's totally up to you you can get sparkle beads you can get glass beads clear beads um, and you can do as many beads as you want to. I did four on this one. I did five on that one. Totally up to you. That's the fun thing about this funky chicken. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> We're going to be stitching with our five millimeter H hook. And then you need a needle so you can sew your beads on. And of course, weave in your ends. And then, of course, you're going to need your scissors. The body of the chicken is basically a circle that we fold in half. So we're going to begin with our slip knot. We're going to chain five. And we're going to join this chain five into a circle. So we'll put the tail of yarn over our hook and pull that through the loop. Snug that down and tie our stay knot. Now, if you prefer to use the magic ring or circle or some other method for your beginning circle, that's totally fine. We're going to put our hook in, pull up a loop, and chain three. One two three and now we're going to stitch 11 double crochets in our circle our chain three counts as one and we're stitching 11 more so that's going to give us 12 double crochets in our beginning circle and these work up super fast you're really going to enjoy making these and the color combinations you can come up with are also lots of fun You'll also notice I'm stitching over my tail of yarn. That's so when I'm done, I can pull that hole closed. All right, let's see how many I've stitched. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 
So I need two more, so I have a total of 12 double crochets. All right, so now I have 12. I'm going to join to my chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. And I'm gonna pull that loop a little bit big because I'm gonna turn this over. I'm gonna go ahead and close up that circle, grab my needle, and weave this in. That way I don't have to worry about it when I'm done. Whoops, came unthreaded. There we go. Alrighty, we'll clip that off. And so for round one, I have 12, put this right, there we go. <laughs> round one, I have 12 double crochets. Now I'm going to be changing colors for round two, so I'm going to take the chain three out. If you're staying the same color, leave your chain three in. And that's because we wanna have our first chain three on row two in the next color because it counts as our first stitch. I'm going to leave the pink attached because I'm going to stripe pink, green, pink, green. All right, so I'm just gonna let that drop out of the way and we're going to do round two. Make sure everything's snug down. And what we're going to do for round two is just place two double crochets in each of our stitches. So I'll place one double crochet in that same stitch as our chain three, and then we'll go to the next stitch and stitch two double crochets, one and two. And that's what we're going to do all the way around for round two, is stitch two double crochets in each of those 12. And then we'll have 24 double crochets for row or round two. It's technically a round, but sometimes I call it a row. All right, so I'm just gonna continue around, stitching two double crochets in each of my 12, and then join back to my chain three. I have stitched two double crochets in each of my double crochets around, so I have 24 double crochets. We're going to join to the chain three, and if you're keeping with the same color, you'll chain three. But since I'm striping, I'm gonna bring in my pink, snug everything down, and chain three. Our chain three counts again as our first double crochet. Now I'm not going to cut my green yarn because I'm going to do that last row where we fold it in half. I'm gonna do that with my green yarn. All right, so what we're going to do for round three is we're going to do what I call one and two. So our chain three counts is our first double crochet. Now we're gonna to go to the next double crochet and stitch two double crochets. One, two. Then we'll go to the next double crochet and only stitch one double crochet. Then we'll go to the next double crochet and stitch two double crochets. So we're stitching one, and two. Again, I say this all the time. It's not a technical term. It just helps me remember what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> all righty. So we're stitching one double crochet in the next, two in the next, and we'll repeat this working all the way around our circle. And then again, we'll join back to our chain three. I have completed round three. I have 36 double crochets because we did one and two all the way around, and then I joined to my chain three. Now I'm going to cut my pink yarn off because I'm going to do those last two rows with the green. Okay, so I'm done with the pink. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my green, and I'm going to chain one, and that's just gonna keep it from undoing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our circle and this is the back side. I'm going to put all those strings in there and we're going to fold it in half. All right, so now we have a half circle. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in that first set of single crochets 
going through both thicknesses and we're going to stitch two single crochets, one and two. Now we're going to stitch one in the next five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to stitch two in the next. One, two, then we'll stitch one in the next five. One, two, three, four, and five. We'll stitch two in the next. One and, whoops, two, there we go. And that should leave you five stitches. One, two, <laughs> it just jumped right off my hook. Three, four, and then in this last stitch here, we're going to stitch two. One and two. All right, and so now, because we folded it in half, we stitched two in the first and then five, and then we repeated that and ended with two in the last. So we folded this in half and we stitched them together. We did two in the first, one in each of the next five, and then we repeated that and ended with two in the end. So you should have 22 single crochets. We're going to chain one and turn. And for row five, we're just going to stitch one single crochet in each of those 22 single crochets. We're not adding or subtracting any. One single crochet in each. We stitched one single crochet in each of those 22. When we get to the end here, we're going to form the tail feathers. So we're going to chain seven. We're going to slip stitch in that last single crochet. And then we're going to repeat that two more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slip stitch in that same stitch. And one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. We have three tail feathers. And if you want your tail feathers longer, you can chain more. I just didn't. I liked them that size. All right, so we're going to tie this off, and I'm going to go in that next stitch and pull that loop in. That's going to make it a little bit more secure, and then we can tie that off. All right, so now our funky chicken has some funky tail feathers. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a minute and go ahead and weave this in, and then I'll show you how to do the rest of our funky chicken. So the next thing we're going to do is form the comb that's on the top of our chicken. Just a little bump there. So we're gonna go right in that, there's two single crochets there. We're gonna go in that first one. And I'm doing mine in pink, although a rooster or chicken's comb is red. All right, we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. We're going to half double crochet in the same stitch. So yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all three of those loops. We're going to chain two and then go right in that same stitch. Just like that. And of course we need to weave this in and make it look nice and tidy. There we go. So now my chicken has a comb. All right, so I'm gonna take my needle and weave this in. And the next thing we're going to do is our chicken's beak. So we're going to go in this single crochet that's right under that comb. We're gonna bring in our yellow yarn. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to turn, and we're going to slip stitch in the second chain. 
and then single crochet in that next chain. There we go. And then join right to that same single crochet. All right, and tie off. Now I'm using like a lemon yellow. You can use a brighter yellow or orange if you want to. All right, so now we have a beak and a comb on our chicken. The next thing we're going to do is the feet. All right, so what you wanna do, we have 22 stitches, and so you wanna count down 10 as we use that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Is that the center? Looks like it. All right, so we're gonna put our hook in, grab the color we're using for our feet, and chain 11. All righty. So now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. Then we'll slip stitch in the next two chains. Now we'll chain four. One, two, three, four, and we'll repeat that. Slip stitch in the second chain and in the next two. Get in there. <laughs> All right, so now we have two toes, and now we're just going to slip stitch back up the leg. Now, I chained 11. If you want the leg of your chicken to be longer, maybe a little funkier, <laughs> then you can do that. You can make it longer. It's just kind of up to you how long you want that chicken leg to be. <clears throat> there we go. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go in that next stitch and stitch a slip stitch. So there's one leg. If you want your chicken to have three toes, you can repeat that again so it has three toes. I just like two. I think it's fun. All right, so now I'm just going to repeat again what I just did so that my chicken has two legs. So I repeated that. I'm going to go right in that single crochet and slip stitch and cut our yarn and then we'll tie that off. There we go. So now I've got two chicken legs and I've got a couple of ends here I need to weave in. And then of course our chicken needs an eye and a nice beaded hanger. <laughs> My chicken looks like he's running across the road. You know, why'd the chicken cross the road? <laughs> All right, let's add the eyes. And I've got two beads. We have to put one on each side. And I chose to use the color of yarn where the eyes are going to sit, which is right here. So what we're going to do first is make a little loop, leave a tail out. Oops, caught my tail. There we go. <clears throat> there. Now we're going to add one bead on. And the eye placement is kind of up to you if you want them higher or lower. It doesn't matter. They're cute either way you do it. Snug that all down. All right, so I'm just going to go back through that eye and go to the other side. Whoops, got his foot. There we go. Now we'll do the same thing over here. We'll just go through the bead a couple times because a chicken has an eye on both sides of its head, right? Now what you, what you want to do is be careful not to go through the pink so that the green yarn shows, all right? So I'm gonna go through there and now I'm just gonna go through that bead again and I'm gonna come back over on this other side. All right, so now my chicken has a bead on both sides of its head and we need to weave this in so that it's secure and it doesn't um, get seen. So I go like under the eye and sort of weave it in underneath those stitches. Okay, I'm gonna go kind of go under and come back up because the bead can really easily come off. All right, so now I'm gonna get that other tail and I'm gonna weave this one in. 
So the last thing my funky chicken ornament needs is a hanger. And since I started with pink here, I'm going to use the bright green. So I've just cut off a long piece about, this is longer than 12 inches, much longer than I need. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go th right through here and grab that yarn. Alrighty, let's find the ends. Definitely longer than I need. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cut this because that is just way longer than I need. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tie a knot right up close to the body of the chicken. And that's going to keep those beads from trying to float down. And get it as close to the body of the chicken as you can. All right, so now we're going to put both of our strands of yarn on our needle. The key with the needle is your needle has to be able to go through your bead and be threaded on your yarn. So it's really tricky finding the right bead. So I push those threads across my yarn, I mean across my needle, and then sort of push them in. That's how I get both strands threaded on there. All right. And then this, the way you do this is totally up to you. I'm going to do green, pink, green, pink. And we'll just push those down. We're not going to need our needle anymore, so we can take that off. And I'm going to tie another knot just to keep those beads where they need to be. There we go. And then I'm going to give a little bit of a space and tie another knot. That's going to give us a place to add that hanger if we want to add a metal hanger. I do sometimes and sometimes I don't. All right, let's go ahead and clip that. And so now, our funky chicken is all ready to join his friends on the Christmas tree so they can all have a very funky Christmas. <laughs>